Elsa born in the kingdom of Arendelle manages to govern the ice at will, a power with which she grew up, however. Distancing herself from everyone and segregated in the castle, after the coronation she runs away from the kingdom and from her sister Anna. Where after various vicissitudes she manages to control power and to understand where to be in the world and how to use its power for good. On the other hand, there is Jackson Overland Frost, a very lively spiteful boy who enjoyed playing pranks on his friends and his little sister. One day Jackson, while taking his little sister, to skate together they get in trouble, where to save their little sister on thin ice, he sacrifices his life. The man in the moon, observes this scene by giving him as a reward, to be reborn in the spirit of winter, thus becoming Jack Frost. What have in common, and in contrast the two protagonists? First of all, Jack has a more open personality, and he likes to be free, and always be out in the open, and never inside the structures, or relegated to anything that could force him to do something he doesn't want. He is more immature, while Elsa presents herself as a more mature child. But she is very closed in on herself, she accepts to be segregated reluctantly in the castle due to uncontrolled powers. Even if she loves, being more outdoors, and has an introverted character, while Jack is an extrovert for whom he likes to converse and meet new people. Jack is a playful, he likes to play even heavy jokes without realizing the consequences. While Elsa is compassed both in attitudes and in strong and indomitable character, and it is difficult for her to let go of emotions even in front of those who love her. Just see that when a child asks him to create a nice figure, Elsa gets a little shy and embarrassed at the child's request. Most likely she would not want to disappoint the child by creating something that does not fully satisfy the child. both, as well as creating ice to their liking, are able to create mirrors of ice on the sea, and on the earth, or in any case on any part they step on, creating a thin layer of ice, where they can walk on top. Although he is carefree Jack actually has a fear similar to Elsa, both are afraid of being alone and forgotten beings, Elsa is afraid that Anna might abandon her like Jack instead for children who do not believe him. Both manage to find their place in the world as Jack manages to become one of the guardians. While Elsa also becomes the guardian of the forest as well as of the kingdom of Arendelle as protector of the kingdom and symbol of the fifth natural element. Both are very intelligent and also charismatic, even if Elsa becomes more charismatic and incisive in Frozen 2. Both have powers related to ice, and both can rule the wind, Elsa being the fifth element is as if she dominates the other spirits. While Jack manages to control the wind with his powers, and even can fly himself as explained by the authors, he flies by floating like a snowflake, and propels himself with wind to fly faster. 
Both have a rebellious spirit. Jack when he becomes the spirit of winter does not accept any law and does not want to have moral and civil obligations towards anyone. Elsa for the position she has as queen uses her rank to not receive orders. Moreover Elsa is rebels against her royal status through the song while Jack doesn't want to be part of the Guardians preferring solitude as happens with Elsa when she escapes. Both characters are certainly incisive and unforgettable within each of us, like snowflakes that shine in the sun, and that will never melt through time, and the warmth of the human soul. Charlie, la 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 la. Don we know our gay apparel, la 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 la.